In our pre-calculus course, we're very interested in solving triangles. Let me explain what we mean by that. Given any triangle, there are six basic measures. The length of the three sides and the measures of the three angles. When we say solving triangles, we mean that given three basic measures for a triangle, find the other three measures. Given three measures, there are four possible solution types. It may be that, there are, that the answer is there are no possible solutions. It may be that there is exactly one solution or exactly two solutions or an infinite number of solutions. Let's look at some of those examples now. To begin with, let's classify the kinds of problems that we can have. We could either be given three sides for a triangle, in which case, if the measure of any two of the sides did not add up to more than the third side, then there would be no solutions at all. On the other hand, if, if there would be exactly one solution, if that's not the case. Secondly, we could be given three angles. If the sum of those angles is not 180 degrees or pi radians, then there would be no solution. Otherwise, there will be an infinite number of solutions. The other two possibilities are that we could be given two sides and one angle or we could give, be given one side and two angles. In the case that we're given two sides and one angle, one of two things will occur. Either the angle is included between the two sides, or it is not. In the case that the angle is included between the two sides, we'll call that a side-angle-side -side situation. In the case that the angle is not included between the two sides, we will call it a side-side angle situation or an angle-side-side -side situation. And you can see why you generally wouldn't call it an angle-side-side -side situation. In the case that we're given one side and two angles, either the side is between the two angles or else it is not. In the case that the side is included between the two angles, we call that an angle-side-angle -angle situation. In the case that the side is not between the two angles, we either call it a side-angle-angle -angle or an angle-angle-side situation. So using that same naming uh, strategy, uh, th given three sides, we'll call that a side-side-side. -side. Given three angles, we'll call that an angle-angle-angle. Now we want to look at these situations and decide what to do in various cases. In a solving triangle problem, if we're given a right angle, if one of the angles are known and it's a right angle, then we can use three tools to completely solve the problem. We know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees or pi radians. So if, the, if we're given three angles and they don't add up to 180 degrees, then of course we know that there's no solution. On the other hand, if we're given two angles, like in this problem, uh, then we'd be able to find the third angle. Here's another one where we're given two angles and would be able to find a third angle. The Pythagorean theorem uh, refers to right triangles. So if there's ever a case that we're given two sides, for example here, and we know that the, at an angle is a, a right angle, then we'd be able to solve for the, for the third side. So that would help us solve either one of these cases. Trig ratios are defined on right triangles. So if we know that the angle is, we know that we've got a right angle, then we could use things like so, ka, toa, sines, cosines, and tangents, uh, and, and the inverses of those to be able to find missing parts.